Hey guys, welcome back to another shed hunting episode here. We are going, if you haven't watched the, our last video, we're going after a couple stud bucks that's on the property. Angus, Tank, and then we're trying to find the matching set to this good six pointer that I'm hoping holds a six pointer. So let's jump right into it. It's pretty windy out here today, so hopefully you guys can hear me pretty good, but uh, we're gonna walk around, put some miles on the boots and uh, see what we can find. All right, so I always like to start with coming in these little cuts like this straight in here because these bucks will bed right off the field like this and it paid off again check out the first shed of the day not too far from where he shed the other one it's that uh part of that big six and man I, he must have had it shed the other day when i was out here i didn't come up here but that's uh that's a cool find the squirrels have got to it a little bit not too bad but still nonetheless a uh cool find now i have a matching set from him and it would be awesome to get to harvest this deer now it's a cool find though let's uh let's see what else we can find hit that like and subscribe to help us out and keep making these videos we're gonna be doing a bunch of fishing videos this year too so uh hit that like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the action Whew, i put on the miles for this one but no way this one is crazy big check this out just kind of right out here in the open no way I think I've had a picture, one picture of this deer, but he is a monster. Look at how his tines curl up and everything. Holy cow. I think he actually took a poop right there. <laughs> and then, oh man, what a find the squirrels haven't got to it at all either. That is a heck of a find. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I know which deer this is. I think I have one picture of him maybe. I don't even know. Hopefully we can find his other side because that's a monster shed. This is unreal. Two match sets in one day. I mean, I, the other one was from the other day, but oh my gosh, check this out. It wasn't even that far. Here's the other half of them. Holy cow. My goodness, look at that deer. He's such a cool looking deer. That is just wicked cool. And he's so the width on this deer he's got i mean the picture if i can remember right he's got to be a big deer big body deer i mean obviously his antlers are crazy and this one's like going kind of i don't even know it's just cool that's nuts let's check out the set together whoa look at the match set on that thing man it's hard to tell actually how wide he would be but the thickness of this these antlers are just unreal i can't <laughs> i'm super lucky this year find two match sets i mean that is just unreal and they're both somewhat in the same area that's crazy i i don't have this deer on camera maybe once and i don't i just got lucky that he shed here i guess i don't know he's coming through and lord bless me with this one this is sweet look at that man that is nuts that's a that's an awesome looking buck we still got some more ground to cover, so let's go see what else we can find. All right, so one good tip I would give anybody who's shed hunting is definitely go slow as you can. I mean, you're not gonna wanna be out there all day, but go as slow as you can, because you never know what you're gonna miss. Also, look back and forth where you just walk, because the sun might be glaring, and hit it at a different spot. Another big key is I like to wear binoculars because I don't wanna walk all the way out in the cornfield if I think there's something out there, so I just scan it. See, oh, just corn stalk. All right, and then move on. So there's a couple things that you could do to help you out there, but ultimately it's just putting miles on your boots and getting going with it. This is turning out to be a crazy shed hunting video. I found another, and let me show you why you always, always, check creeks and where they cross on the creeks let me set my bag down you can see that they are just annihilating this bank right here they're going up here going up there and going up there and if you have good enough eyes like i do you can spot what's down in here i am not sure what deer that is it looks pretty fresh so the squirrels haven't got to it thankfully man i am not it's kind of lost a little bit of color it almost looks like from being in the water but couldn't have been in here too long because it still has some of that at the bottom but that's a wicked deer look at that 
<laughs> tines are going nuts on that thing. That's strange, very, very strange. But nonetheless, a pretty cool deer. It broke off its uh, brow tine too. But as you can see, the tracks through here are just nuts. Go up there, up there. Another shed. What a cool video. All right, guys, we're back to where we started. I hit up all my spots and man, that was a crazy, crazy day of shed hunting. Once again, two matching sets is hard to do two seasons, let alone two times shed hunting. So probably give it a couple more times, but let's go back to the house and I'll show you the matching set from the first one. If you haven't watched the first video already, which I urge you to do, because that was a pretty cool video too, but I'll show you the first one. So let's get, uh, let's drive back to the house and show you that one. All right, guys, here is the matching one. This is the one we found today. It's a little bit more chewed up with a six pointer. It's a pretty nice six pointer. This is the one we found on the last video, a couple about a week and a half ago. So as you can see, it's a cool little six pointer. I hope he stays a six pointer. And I'm curious, genuinely curious to see what he blows up as because he's pretty thick already and he's got good mass already. Is this good? Be a solid deer hopefully next year hopefully he stays a six pointer because it's a kind of a dream of mine to take a six pointer so if you like that video hit that like and subscribe we appreciate you watching um you know the like the subscribe helps us out a lot and uh we keep making some cool videos so thanks for watching that like and subscribe